In this tutorial, we're going to introduce you to WP Touch, which is a plugin for WordPress that automatically enables a very simple theme to anyone viewing your website on a mobile device. Now, just a note while we're getting started and I install the plugin here, is that ideally speaking, any theme that you're running these days will be responsive in nature, which means that the theme will actually scale up and down uh, per the requirements of whatever device is using your website at the time. Uh, but it's not always the case, of course, so that's why plugins such as WP Touch exist. So naturally the process for installing it is no different than for installing any other plugin at all. And the plugin has been downloaded and installed, so we just need to activate the plugin now. And there we go, so the plugin's activated. So if you scroll down over on the left hand side in the main menu, you'll now have a menu item called WP Touch. So now we're just going to take a quick walk through uh, the general settings that are available to this plugin. So this is the dashboard and you can find some information on what's going on in the plugin there. But what we're really after is core settings. So we're going to click that over in the left hand menu. And here we go. So We've got some general settings that we need to configure first. So the site title and byline is perhaps the most important. And what you can do is you can change this. It's just pulling in the normal site title that's already in uh, the general settings of WordPress. Uh, but of course, if you wanted to change this for mobile visitors so it was shorter uh, or just something different in general, you can do that here. You can also choose to display power by WP Touch in the footer if you'd like to do that by checking this box here. Uh, next, you can just choose the region. So you can change the language as you can see here, but we're just going to leave it as auto detect, and for most people, that's probably easier. Next, you can choose the display mode. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, normal is the default and what's currently enabled. So any mobile visitors that visit the site, they're going to actually get the WP Touch theme. Preview is also available, and what it means is that you'll only see the WP Touch theme if uh, you are a logged in site administrator. Otherwise, you'll just see the normal website. Finally, you've got the disabled option. So if you're having problems with WP Touch for some reason or you need to troubleshoot, you can just disable it here and the mobile theme will then never show. After that, you can see that we can choose the landing page. So at the moment, the WP landing page is going to be the default, which is the same as WordPress. So just the home page of the website. You can, of course, choose to select from any of the pages you have on your website, as you can see here, or something custom entirely, so a custom slug or URL. So you could even just redirect people off your website if you really wanted to do that. Next, we have the ability to add custom code. So if you want to add any HTML or JavaScript onto the mobile theme, you can do that, and you can do that just by pasting it in there. And then the next setting is for admin mode. So the admin panel setting is shown the default for now, but you can change that to advanced if you'd like. We're just going to leave it on default for the moment. And of course, like always, when you're done making changes, click on Save Changes. So those settings have been saved into the plugin. So what you can do now is go down and choose to preview the theme. And here you can see a nice little window pops up and we can see how that website's going to look on a mobile phone. So it's quite nice, very simple. Uh, but that's all you need to know from now anyway. That should hopefully give you an idea of the settings that are available in the core settings. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.